Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a really cool uh, stream overlay. You can use these in videos and uh, yeah, it doesn't really have to be a stream. But um, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to make one of these. This was a speed art that I did for Neslo uh, not too long ago. So yeah, you can go check that out if you want to see how I made this one individually. But yeah, I'm going to be making something similar to this. And uh, so yeah, if you want to know how to make something like this, you can just watch this tutorial and you'll find out. But, um, I did already make a stream video, uh, a stream overlay to a video, so this will be linked in the description, you can go check that out. This was uploaded quite a while ago, so um, yeah, I'm not sure, well, uh, you can see that, that, is, that what that isn't as good as the one that you're going to be seeing today. But um, yeah, so uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So first off, we're going to go to File, New, and the dimensions are going to be 1920 by 1080 pixels. Uh, that's just because that is the dimensions of a HD quality stream and that's what most streamers stream at. So um, yeah, those are the dimensions. Now we want to get a piece of our gameplay in. So ours is going to be for Call of Duty. So uh, where is the Call of Duty? Right here. Uh, so we can just drag that in and there we go. Now we basically, we're going to use this as our background. So we can use this as a template to see where we can design and where we can't design. So it's because obviously we don't like design over the minimap, otherwise you can't see, otherwise then the audience can't see where the person is or anything like that. So um, you may you want to make sure that you don't cut out all the key pieces. But um, we don't want it to be too distracting from what we're doing either. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur, and then we can just blur it just enough so we can get we still get an idea of where the key things are, but then it isn't too distracting either. And uh, it also looks nice uh, when you're presenting your designs. Um, look, the background looks nice blurred like this. You can see it's blurred quite a lot. And we can also change the background's color. Well, not the background color, but um, you can see uh, this like uh, it's how do I, sorry how do I say it? it's like all red instead of the normal colors. So to do that, all we need to do is change our background layer. Well, our first layer, so our layer zero. And um, all we need to do, all we need to do is go to a. All you need to do, sorry. All you need to do, is double click on this. It'll bring up your, your layer style. And uh, if you don't have all your options down the side, all you need to do is go sh uh, show all effects. Then go to color overlay, then change this to. Uh, so, the one we're gonna make, we'll do a blue. So, we're gonna make this a really dark blue, uh, like that. Okay. And uh, you won't be able to see it right there, but uh, if you just change your gameplay picture to um, multiply, which is right there, there you can say, so you can now you can see that it's uh, kind of gone to the blue. And it looks kind of cool as well. And um, yes, yeah, so now we've got all the presentation done, we can just uh, select both of our, um, our layers right there and then just make a group and then we can just call this presentation uh, or background, whatever you want to call it uh, present, I know how to spell, that's not how you spell it presentation, <laughs> okay there we go um, so yeah now we've done that, oh, we, now we're going to start working on the actual uh, overlay so to do that uh, we're going to put our logo in the middle for this one so we're going to just use the same as low logo just because it's the one I have and uh, if you have the, if you if you download a logo and you can see it has this white background, all you need to do is make sure you rasterize the layer. So just right click on it, and then go to rasterize layer, and then we can just use the magic wand tool, which is up here. Just click on the white background, then go to select, modify, expand, then one, and then just press delete on your on your keyboard, and there we go. You can see that it's gone. And uh, yeah, so now we want to make it centered, and we want to make it the right size. To make sure it's centered, you want to click on your presentation uh, folder that we got going. Then press Command T, and just press OK. Doesn't really matter. And then you want to drag a ruler out and make it into the middle. So uh, you can see that it has a little icon in the middle. Just drag it. And then if it doesn't, if you can't see the ruler now, that means you have them hidden. So to unhide them, just press Command and then colon, and you can just press it to keep hiding it and showing it. And now we have a ruler to show us where our center is. And um, now to make sure our our logo is centered, just press Command T while we have our logo selected make sure it's in the middle and then we can just drag it up and just make it the size we want and there we go and now we can see that our logo is centered and it's where we want it to be and it's the right size of me so now what we can do is we can make it link like I said before we want our uh, we want our overlay to be blue and so to do that I'm going to press command U and then we can just change the you can just use this hue uh, I don't really know what to call this hue line <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'm just going to go with that, this hue line thing, and you can just get the color that you're looking for, and this cyan looks pretty cool, so yeah, now we've changed his, the color of his logo, it's like a cool little cyan kind of style, and um, like I said before, I'm going to be showing you how to do this style of header, 
and you can see that these bars don't actually go into the logo and uh, yeah so make sure that well you can make sure you can if you want you can make them go into the logo but for this tutorial I'm not going to make them do that and so yeah you click on your presentation folder then press on the new uh, new layer icon and there we go we will make a new layer above our presentation file and then we want to make sure that black is our foreground color so just make sure just click on that make sure it's black and then um, you just want to use your pen tool which is over here and just click and basically make the shape of the bar that we're going to be making or the first section so we'll just do it like we'll just do a regular um, um, just a regular rectangle with a slanted side so once we've done that we're going to right click and press fill path and then make sure this is foreground color and then all this should be on 100 and that should be good make sure that we did do that on the layer that we just made that is really important that we did that and uh, then we can just center it as well and if you if you do if you have these paths still here like you can see these lines just press the delete key on your keyboard and then you go you can see it will go and now we want to make it in line with our logo so we want it to be in the center of our logo so to do that you want to click on our logo press command T and then we can just drag a ruler down and there we go now we've got our ruler set up and now we can actually make this in line perfectly and there we go you can see that we have this uh, we have this box. If you think it's too fat, you can just literally just press Command T and just drag it down a little, and uh, yeah, that will be fine. And there we go. Now we have this one section here, and this is where we're going to do all of our work on. So make sure that all the layers we do above this and that we want it to be on this bar, make sure we make a clipping mask. So to do that, you can just press Alt on your keyboard and then click on the bottom of the layer, and then you can see it just makes a clipping mask. Or you could right click on the layer and go to Create Clipping Mask. And now whatever design or whatever we do to this layer, it will only go onto um, onto that bar. So let me show you an example. We've got a white brush. We just click anywhere outside of the bar. Uh, you can see it doesn't actually go onto it. But when we click onside into the bar, now it does, it now only goes onto the bar. And uh, yeah, hopefully that all made sense. And uh, so yeah, we just want to make a layer and then make a clipping mask onto the bar. And now we want to pick this color that we're going to be using. So I'm going to be using a blue, so this is going to be a blue style overlay. So now I'm going to pick a cool blue. Um, okay, so that's quite cool. Uh, make sure that's our foreground colour. I just want to click once above our bar, just so the glow kind of expands into the bar, um, if that makes sense. And then, um, so yeah, you can. it might take a few tries, you might need to undo it a few times just so, to get the right glow that you're looking for. And yeah, I think that's good. And now what we're going to do with our glow is we're going to go to filter, blur and then gaussian blur and just want to blow it. You're going to have to blow it quite a lot just because it's a brush and um, yeah so we, we want to, to, to cover the whole bar or this whole section so yeah you might need to blow it quite a bit and then once, you, once you've made it so you've blurred it enough so it looks good to you you just want to reposition it and then yeah it should all be good and there we go we basically added uh, a cool glow to our bar and it makes it more apparent and yeah it looks really cool and um, now we're going to add a little white uh, line around the outside this is something that Sasso likes to do on his headers and uh, I just incorporate them into my stream overlays because I just thought they looked really cool so again we're going to make a new layer and then uh, make it a clipping mask and then we're going to press command and then click on the, the layer thumbnail of our bar and then what that will do is it will make a selection around the bar and I know I've said bar so many times, I'm sorry. But um, so once we've done that, we've got a selection. We want to go to select border and then make it two pixels. And then uh, make sure our foreground color is white, just like that. And then press, uh, you can either press Alt backspace and that will basically just fill our selection. Or, or you could just use the, the paint bucket tool, but I recommend just using Alt backspace. And, um, and now we've got this white line uh, going around the outside. And we just set that white line to overlay, and there we go. We got this really cool glow. It just adds to the glow of it, really, and it looks really cool. Um, if you want to push that idea further, you can duplicate that that glow, and then you can just use your eraser tool. Make sure that the softness is on a, on. I mean, the hardness is on zero, and then we can just click, and then it'll make some parts brighter than others, and that looks really cool as well. And uh, yeah, so basically now we've done our our styling for the bar and now we're going to add a texture just to add a bit more detail 
and it looks really cool with that as well. So um, I'm going to be using my texture pack that I have. Uh, it's on my YouTube channel. If you want to, if you want to download it, all you need to do is type in Baz Diesel uh, texture pack. Um, uh, just wait for this to load. It should be the first video. Uh, I'd be pretty surprised if it isn't. And uh, just wait for this very slowly. There we go. This is the very first video right there. It's a free texture pack, and the download is in the description. And um, yeah, so uh, so I'm gonna now get that pack open. So let me just open it real quick. Let me just find it. Uh, graphic design packs and then background textures and now you have all of these textures in that pack and uh, yes yeah, so you get to pick whatever one you like uh, whatever one you want and um, you can mess around with them see whatever one looks best for your design you just want to click and drag it in just like that you might want to rotate it just so it's um, just so it's landscape and you're just going to drag it over our bar and then you're just gonna make sure it's with all the other layers with that that are with that bar as well. And then um, and then you can either drag it under a layer that's already got a clipping mask, uh, and then it automatically just add the clipping mask. So it's like as you can see, all these have a clipping mask. Just click and drag it into it, and then it automatically just puts it into the clipping mask. Um, and then now when you've done that, you want to go to um, you want to click on our texture. You can there are a few of these that you can try. You can try overlay. That works quite well. Uh, you can go to screen and then lower the opacity that works quite well as well and then uh, or you can go to luminosity and then lower the opacity as well but uh, I think for this one we're going to go to overlay and you can see that works pretty well and uh, yeah it looks really nice um, so now now we've done that this is where we put our text so you just use our text tool and I'm not actually going to type in I'm not actually going to design the banner so I'm just going to put text there just like that and that should be fine and again, it should really be in the clippy mask, but uh, it doesn't really matter because your text would be inside the banner anyway. And um, something that works cool, if you have a grunge there, something that always looks good, if you have your text and then set the text blending option to overlay, then it kind of brings the, the texture in front and that works really well. And then um, from there, we could double click on our text and then go to drop shadow. And there we go, it adds even more of an effect and that works pretty well as well. And uh, if you didn't like, if you don't want to do that, you can just set this back to normal and then um, get rid of the well, actually no we'll keep the drop shadow and then um, you would make your text blue so to do that click on your text tool or press T on your keyboard and then select all of your text and then use that box at the top to select your colour find the colour that you want um, ok that is good and then we can double click on our text layer again to get our layer style then go to gradient overlay uh, make sure they blend mode is on overlay. Uh, oh no, I mean, oh, mo mo sorry. Make sure it's a multiply. Make sure that the gradient is on black to white, which is the default, which is right there. And then, make, and then you can fiddle around with this uh, opacity, and that works well as well. You can see that we've got a bit of a gradient going on, and we've also got a drop shadow going on as well. And then um, from there, we can just change the color of the blue uh, to make it match the rest. And there we go. That looks really cool as well. And uh, yeah, so um, if you want to copy this banner over, you want all you need to do is select all of your layers just like that, and press Command J, and you can see it duplicated all your all of your layers. And then um, and now what you want to do is press Command T, make sure that you still got all your layers selected. Then right click and press Flip Horizontal, and just drag it over to the other side, uh, just like that. And um, now you can see that we've got them both. Uh, now we've got it on both sides, but we can also see that our text is flipped over. So just select our text, right click. I mean, not right click. Uh, press Command T. Then now right click and just flip horizontal. And there we go. We've got our text back to the way it was. And uh, yeah. So um, now we've got our banner set up. You can see that uh, on these, I've kind of got a, um, a kind of perspective. Uh, so it kind of is taller here than it, and then it gets thinner just to make it kind of I don't know it's quite hard to explain kind of give that 3d effect and um, if we wanted to add that we want to select all of the layers for that one bar so you don't want to select all of your layers and then just press command J and command E so we basically duplicated all the layers and then merged it into one layer and then so the reason why we duplicated it is is because if we do need to edit it we still got all these layers uh, to edit with if we need to so we just want to make all of those editable layers of that one bar into one group and then we can call that left 
and then we do the same for the right bar so select all of your layers duplicate them all and then press command E uh, to merge them and then and then uh, select all your editable layers press command J and I'll put them in a group and then we'll call this right okay um, so now uh, we want to hide our groups so now oh, did not mean to drag that into that so now we have just our bars and they are in one layer but if before you merge them you do want to make sure that you have all your text and it's the way you want and yeah so you won't be wanting to make any more changes to those and uh, yeah so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to edit and then perspective warp then you want to click and drag over the area of the bar just like that and now you can drag these pins and uh, basically change uh, change the perspective really that's all it is and um, yeah, try and, try and remember the perspective that you add for this bar because you're going to be adding the same perspective to the other bar. And uh, yeah, so you, you can see the difference between the two bars. This has kind of got a 3D effect and um, it looks like this side is kind of coming at you and it's kind of further, it's closer to you than this side is. And uh, so yeah, now we're going to do the same thing over to, on this bar. So make sure you select the other bar and go to edit and then perspective warp, select the area and then press enter and then we can just do the same shape as we did uh, before and uh, it doesn't obviously it doesn't need to be perfect but uh, you just want to get it as close as you can because there's no like I, like I said in my previous tutorials there's no one going to be looking up to the like face right to the screen to make sure that it's perfect but you just want to make it look as close as possible and there you go we can see that they are both coming out and it looks really cool and now we're going to add a drop shadow to both of them. So to do that, you just want to double click, double click on the layer and then go to drop shadow. And it might be quite hard to see. So let's just zoom in a little. And uh, then we can increase the size and increase the spread as well. Okay, and just press okay. And now we can just copy that layer, uh, that drop shadow by right clicking on the layer. Go to copy layer style, then right click on the other layer, on the other bar then paste layer style there we go we added a drop shadow to both of them and um, now that you've done that you might want to make sure that your logo is in the middle of both of the bars obviously you want it to be uh, symmetrical so you just want to use arrow keys just to make sure it's center and now we can actually I'd probably add a, uh, a drop shadow to the logo as well uh, it's, probably, it's probably a bit strong um, but also it kind of looks kind of nice just because these bars kind of fade into darkness and then that that looks kind of nice as well so you might want to leave the drop shadow like that or you could just lower the opacity a bit uh, or you could just lower the size and all that but yeah either way works and it looks really nice and um, yeah so that's how you do the top part and um, now we're going to do the the webcam actually I, I'll show you how to do these uh, these cool lines here as well you can see that um, so yeah let me just show you how to do those as well uh, so yeah we want to make a new layer which is right there create the new layer icon right there then we want to make our we need to pick the color that we want so it's probably going to be the same color as our text or maybe just a bit brighter and um, now we're going to use our pen tool again and then we just want to make an outline so we go from this corner to that corner up there and then to this corner right at the very edge and then you just want to bring it in a little and then finish it off so we're basically only making a total of four points and uh, yeah that should be fine and then we're going to right click fill path and just like that press ok and then just double click on that path on the one that we just made go to gradient overlay and then increase the, uh, the opacity on the multiply that we have and then we can just drag that gradient up and uh, yeah that looks pretty cool we can add other stuff like a satin as well so you can just go and uh, have a look actually I don't think it really works well for this shape but uh, yeah, you could work with other things, maybe a inner glow that could work well, just lower the size and then um, lower the opacity as well and then we'll change the colour to a blue so yeah, that works pretty well as well and um, then we'd probably just do the same thing to the other side as well so let's just make the new layer and just do this real quick, make these points just like that right click, fill path, press ok um, and then we just want to copy the layer style over and just press paste and there we go, we've got the same layer style on both sides, it looks pretty cool 
Um, but yeah, it doesn't look pretty cool without them as well. So it might, it's up to you really, whatever way you want to go. And there's a lot of variation you can do. Um, because like you didn't have to go, you didn't have to do them on the top. You could have done them on the bottom. Um, but yeah, either way works. And uh, yeah. So now I've done, and now I've shown you how to do this top bar. Now I'm going to show you how to do the webcam, which is uh, right there. Uh, so to do that, uh, I'm just going to put all of these into one folder. And then we can just put that just to clean everything up and make everything a lot easier for you guys to see. Um, so yeah, now we want to go to our shape tool. We can see we've got a rectangle right there. And um, we're actually going to make this uh, our foreground color of black. Or we can just change it. We can keep that blue because we've been using that blue all the way through. So we might want to make our secondary color blue and then just swap it over to our foreground color. And um, you just want to click once. You don't want to click and drag. And now you can put in the pixels that you want our square to be. And um, we're going to put 1920 by 1080 just to get the right aspect ratio of our um, of our webcam because most head, uh, HD webcams are that dimensions. And we want to once you've done that shape, you will have the fill and you have the stroke come up. You want to remove the stroke, so just click on this uh, box right here and press on the the, the the transparent icon. And then now we've done that, we can just press Command T and just make it a lot smaller. And there we go, we have the right shape for our webcam. And then we can just position it to where we want. But again, bear in mind, we don't want it to cover up anything important. So just make sure you don't put it right in the bottom left corner because the score and all that's down there. So make sure that it's somewhere in a good space, just like that. Okay, so now we've got our rectangle. We're gonna duplicate that rectangle, just like that. Then we're gonna press Command T and then we're just gonna drag it in. You wanna remember how far you drag it in. If you go very slowly, you can see that you have to drag it. Um, there's quite a jump, and you just want to remember how many jumps you do for each side. So just just like this, okay? Or you can just do it by eye. Um, yeah. So let's just keep going around, making sure that each each uh, side of the webcam is the same. And um, yeah. So now we've done that, you can see. Actually, might be a bit too thin. So uh, yeah, you can, another way of doing it is by holding Alt and then dragging down. And there we go. You, you can see it kind of uh, brings both sides inwards. And then we can do that for this side as well, just like that. Okay. So now we've done that. You're gonna put, hold Command and then click on the layer thumbnail, and you can see it makes the selection like we did before. And then when we go to original rectangle, right click on it and go to rasterize layer style, and then we can just press Delete. And there we go, you can, be, you can see that we have a border around our webcam. And uh, yeah, uh, so now we've done that, uh, we, can, we can delete this rectangle. Uh, all you can do, what I did here, is basically make like, a little preview section. Uh, so to do that, you just want to make a new layer and make a clipping mask on that rectangle. And then change your foreground color to a white. So just like that. Go to a brush and then just click in one of the corners. Uh, okay, that would be good and then just lower the opacity and there we go you can see we've got a little preview section for our webcam and uh, yeah so now we've done that we're gonna edit our frame around our webcam so to do that we want to make a new layer make a clipping mask onto the frame and then we're going to use our blue that we had saved and then we can just just make one big brush and then uh, yeah so you can see that it kind of spreads over the whole thing you might like I said before you might need to click a few times uh, just to get it the way you want and then we can just lower the opacity of that and yeah so now we've done that we're gonna make a new layer again we could just be like I said we're just gonna continuously make new layers and creating the clippy mask and uh, now we're gonna do the same thing to get this kind of glow around the outside of our shape so to do that again we're gonna hold command and click on our video thumbnail then go to select modify border and then two pixels and then uh, make sure that uh, we change white to a foreground color and then press alt backspace and there we go you can see we have this white outline then change it to overlay and there we go we have this glow going around the outside and like I said before if you want to push this idea further just duplicate it and then you can uh, you can erase some parts to just make some parts glow more than others and yeah I think that's actually glowing a bit too much probably so I might just lower the opacity of that second one. And yeah, that looks really cool. 
and then now we want to get our same texture over and just drag it over and we're basically recreating the same style we had for these banners and then just putting it onto the webcam as well so make sure it's below our uh, our glows around the outside and just set it to overlay and there we go that's how you basically that is how you make a stream overlay and uh, yeah if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to, to like comment and subscribe if you did use this tutorial to make any designs don't forget to tweet them at me i'd love to see what creations you make and yeah so thank you guys for watching the video and i'll see you guys in my next one